So let's start off with chemotherapy, since that was the first thing we were ever able to use to successfully treat cancer. Chemotherapy, we're talking about cytotoxic drugs that lack specificity. The chemotherapy is kind of a, a broad spectrum killer. If you want to compare it to maybe antibiotics, it's got the broad spectrum and kills many types of fast growing cells. That's why chemotherapy has a lot of toxicities associated with it, because it isn't able to differentiate between a cancer cell and a normal cell that just happens to grow rapidly, like your skin or your blood. Our chemotherapy are divided by their mechanism of action. The larger grouping we have is cell cycle specific or cell cycle nonspecific. The cell cycle specific drugs includes your antimetabolites, your microtubule targeting drugs, and your topoisomerase inhibitors. Your cell cycle nonspecific drugs are your alkylating agents and your anti-tumor antibiotics, like your uh, anthracyclines. Cell cycle specific drugs, like the designation suggests, work most effectively during one specific phase of the cell cycle, with S phase being the most common target. Cell cycle nonspecific drugs are that more indiscriminate killer of cells. It doesn't matter what phase of the cell cycle, they're going to cause problems. So let's start off with some of the antimetabolites. What we're going to do is we're going to go through these different groups. We're going to talk in very broad perspective. Uh, mention some examples of the drugs, talk a little bit about how they work, and some common toxicities you may see for these drugs as each in each class. So we have some underlying principles of chemotherapy that apply across the board. The first one is that chemotherapy kills on a cellular level. What that really means to us is that it's important that we understand cell biology. And we need to understand the role of microtubules and cell division in order to understand how my antimicrobial drugs work. If it kills cancer cells, it kills normal cells. And that really applies to our chemotherapy. That gets into what I was saying a moment ago about toxicity. Though it kills cancer cells, we're going to see toxicity from it. If it kills normal cells, it kills cancer cells. There are a few examples of drugs that were de originally developed for other indications, but have found a use in the treatment of malignancy. One of my favorite examples of a drug that's very toxic that was introduced for chemotherapy is the drug mechlorethamine. So a drug that was derived from nitrogen mustard and patients that were people, soldiers that were exposed to nitrogen mustard in the World War came back and their immune system was suppressed. And so they put that to use by using it in the treatment of Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is a cancer that arises from the immune system. 